The Life and Murder of Nicole Brown Simpson is Lifetime Television's newest documentary. Now, we've seen many documentaries on the Nicole Brown Simpson, O.J. Simpson trial of the century murder case. But this Lifetime docuseries provides the viewer with unprecedented and exclusive access to home videos and interviews with those closest to her. Now, I will provide you with a sneak peek and an early look into the life and murder of Nicole Brown Simpson documentary on Lifetime. Uh, I will review episodes one and two. This review contains spoilers. So Nicole Brown Simpson's sisters appear in this documentary. They give emotional interviews regarding the events leading up to Nicole Brown Simpson's final night alive. Denise Brown was the protector of this family and of Nicole. They were extremely close. According to her, O.J. Simpson destroyed their entire family. Even now, upon the 30-year anniversary, it's difficult for her to even utter his name actual names instead of saying he or she you know as, as much as possible oh, okay throw, throw the name in there somewhere That's uh is there there's only one name i don't want to say if you don't mind oh ever yeah okay him yeah Denise Brown and her sister share tender moments between Nicole Brown Simpson and her children. She seemed to be a beautiful mother to her kids. Also discussed in this documentary um, is the sometimes strained relationship between Nicole Brown Simpson and O.J. Simpson's older children and how Nicole worked very hard to make them feel comfortable and wanted. She welcomed them and loved them very much. Now, another interesting guest on this show is Marguerite Simpson's sister. Now, Marguerite Simpson was O.J. Simpson's first wife. Uh, now, his sister is hesitant to talk about the Dom V that existed between O.J. and her sister, stating that it's better for Marguerite to recount those stories. But she is forthcoming, as forthcoming as she can be. She uh, speaks emotionally about O.J. Simpson, referring to him as not being just her brother-in-law or her former brother-in-law, but he seemed to her much like a brother. Now, Marguerite Simpson has always denied allegations that there was any sort of Dom V in their relationship. Uh, however, police records show and confirm that Marguerite was also a victim of O.J. Simpson's anger. Now, giving details about these incidents with O.J. Simpson's first wife, Marguerite, is a former officer who said he responded to a call at their home way back in the 1970s. Marguerite, but, you know, she was my lady, and uh, I was a little wild before I met her, and she used to settle me down. I love the area that we live in. It's quiet, you know, and uh, we have a lot of time together, usually. He plays a lot of tennis. Yeah, I love the area. Yeah, I love the area. Yeah, I love the area. My memory is that there was a clump of hair on the floor in the entryway of the home. She was upset. He had left the scene. We spoke to her briefly and kind of got the story we could, but she didn't really want to go into a lot of details about it. She just wanted to leave the house and she had no transportation. She declined a report and wouldn't sign a report. She said, my husband's O.J. Simpson, the football player. She identified herself as Marguerite Simpson. Now, this documentary reveals shocking new details that, that we've never heard before. Nicole Brown Simpson and O.J. Simpson had an intense relationship that included fiery makeups and fiery breakups. Their relationship is described as being like Camelot with a side of Dom V. We learned that O.J. met Nicole when she was just 18 and while O.J. was still married to his first wife. Now, according to the life and murder of Nicole Brown Simpson on Lifetime, his first wife, Marguerite, was bullied out of her home to make way for who would become O.J. Simpson's new wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. 
And of course, all of this would backfire. Nicole didn't end up having the relationship that she wanted, trying very hard at times to keep their relationship together for the sake of the kids. In fact, a lot of women get trapped in relationships like this all over the world, and Lifetime is putting a spotlight on it. Now, Lifetime Television has a purpose with this project, which is to shed light and awareness on an ever-growing problem in our communities, the subject of Dom V. I'm sure you guys know what that is. Now, according to Lifetime TV's press, they have collaborated with the National Dom Abuse Hotline, which provides assistance to women all over the United States. And that hotline, according to Lifetime, has answered more than 7 million calls. Back to the life and murder of Nicole Brown Simpson. There were so many red flags that were ignored. Several witnesses recount in this documentary how O.J. Simpson could be a smiling and charming gentle giant one minute and the next minute he could be a madman whose face would distort in rage as he placed a black cloud over the entire room. I just seemed like a big pain. There was one time that I physically tried to force my will on the cold sensor. Yeah, you just come on over here now. Wait a minute, what's your name? Nicole Simpson. If anything, I was a peacemaker in the South. Now, the family paints O.J. Simpson as an insensitive serial cheater who could be more dangerous than they ever imagined. Now, excerpts from Nicole Brown Simpson's diary make it into this Lifetime documentary, indicating troubles uh, throughout their marriage, including details about the minor things that would set her husband off. And as soon as we walked outside, all hell broke loose. After Nicole had let the man hold the baby. She took the baby back. OJ spoke to me and said, you know, why did you have that gay guy hold my baby or something like that? And she says, why are you concerned about him being gay? Your father is gay. OJ Simpson made hurtful comments to his uh, wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, during her pregnancy, calling her fat making all kinds of comments about her weight, and she recorded those hurtful moments. Now, one thing they bring out in this documentary too, many friends of Nicole Brown Simpson admit that at times, Nicole's words to OJ could really sting. And then she'd sort of end up shocked about his negative reaction um, to what she said. But she was just telling the truth as she saw it. She describes in detail in her diary some very scary moments while living with her husband, including the one time he held her over a balcony. So we we all know that after years of trying to save this marriage, Nicole Brown Simpson decided to save herself. And one of her friends tells us in this Lifetime television documentary that Nicole was so afraid of O.J. Simpson that she asked her if she could give him the news that she was finally leaving him and leasing a new home on Gretna Green. When a woman finally decides to leave a man who has done nothing but mistreat her, that can be the most dangerous period of a woman's life. In this uh, Lifetime documentary, The Life and Murder of Nicole Brown Simpson on Lifetime, they tell us about OJ's obsessive behavior, the stalking, the watching, and how they break up and then make up, only for it to end up back in this very negative loop of love and hate. Nicole Brown Simpson's sisters and friends walk us up all the way through that last night of Nicole's life as they describe the eerie feeling that their mother had on the way home that night. Now that wraps up episodes one and two. This is a riveting documentary to add to your O.J. Simpson, Nicole Brown Simpson collection. Many of you, like myself, we have been watching this for years. We have wanted to solve this case for years. Uh, We have been backyard and back home detectives trying to figure out exactly what happened. In one of these um, 
you know, this is one of those cases where we will really never know the truth, even if we think we do. Now, I'll leave you with this question. It's a controversial one. Is it possible O.J. Simpson could not have done this despite their troubling history? Is it possible he followed her, stalked her, did everything that he did, and perhaps he even saw the crime? Now, is it possible O.J. Simpson could have not committed this crime? Despite their troubling marriage, despite their troubling history, is it possible he followed her home that night, watched the crime happen, or maybe he stumbled upon the scene as it happened, or even after it happened and ran home? What is your opinion on this? Now, remember, this is a two-night event beginning June 1st at 8, 7 Central p.m. The Life and Murder of Nicole Brown Simpson on Lifetime.